So hello everyone, um, late night recording here, but um, here's my 817, um, one of the first ones. Um, it's a little bit cold, it's been in the fridge. Let's get the lid off, and this is always fun when trying to get it off with one hand. And there we go, and as you can see I already had the <laughs> speaker unplugged um, because I tested this earlier and it worked or failed. Anyway, let's get it on and... We'll, um, yeah, we'll stick with 160 meters. Yep. And what happens when I press transmit is, as you can, if you have a good look, you'll see high SWR. Now, I reckon that the problem, and was problem before, was this little flat ribbon flex up the back here. All right, so let's switch the power down. And let's have a bit of a play. We've still got a high SWR. And whoop, what do we got? We had lit. Yep, there we go. Flick, flick. Ah, that's out of focus. Just in time to get it, and it's out of focus. But if you look carefully, you can see the SWR jumping up and down. As you can see, the SWR has come good. Let's go back to the band I was on to start off with. The SWR has come good. Now, no matter how much I push around, that flex now, it won't fault. So the temperature is enough. So it looks like I've finally found out what's wrong with this thing. And hopefully this video caught what was going on. So if anyone else has the same problem with their um, FT817 with a temperature problem with the SWR, there's another fault to check. Um, one of the causes of this is, of course, me being stupid. I've pulled this apart, taken this board out, moved the flex around, and I've broken wires in it. Under no circumstances play with the internals of your radio. I mean, I like pulling things apart. That's how I got into this sort of stuff. But obviously, um, it's caught me up. And um, and now I can hope that this is now solved. Catch you later, guys.